Hello, this is Sheila Honeycutt, and I'm back with the second part of my rag rug weaving process. And uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how uh, I take it and, and actually start the weave. Um, first off, I take and I cut up all of my strips, usually the whole length of a full sheet, and the lengths are really too long. For the way that I like to use them and pull them through and stuff. But I cut up all my lengths and I separate the different colors into baggies like this. I just kind of fold them up, roll them up, and, and put them down into those baggies. But I'm going to use a uh, like a light solid and then a uh, darker printed color on this one. And uh, just so maybe you can see better on what I'm doing in this video. But um, I'll go through the process again of how I tie them together. I just put one over the other like that. And then I uh, just snip about a uh, fourth inch or so. And uh, then I pull the one that I've got on top through the back side up through the hole and pull it through until I make a good knot. I straighten the knot out, you know, a little bit and it, it doesn't really show. But now when you start out, when we first started, you know, we started out with a loop knot and this rod is here uh, as a tension rod. It it comes down and it keeps your rug from going in and out and all that so your first strip you always want to weave and come in against the rod but now importantly when you first start you want to come around your rod and through the the, the loop knot that you made the slip knot you want to come down around your rod like this and pull it through and then it's very important that you do that uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull it past the knot because I don't want the knot to come out right here on the rod so make sure that you come through this this is very important because if you don't come through this loop then all of your work when you get finished it'll end up coming apart on you so you come through your loop, you take your right, the, the uh, piece in your right hand, you go over and hold it with your left hand. You take this piece, go over and under the rod and pull it through. Then you take the one in your left hand and go under the next piece of the warp Pull it through. Now that's very important that you go through that loop. I'll pull it out and show you one more time. So you know you got to make sure that that you get that start off right, or it will come apart. So you go around the rod and through the loop and pull it through. I'm going to go down again past the knot because I don't want the knot to come out right at the edge of my rug. So you go across and hold this one, the top one, in your left hand. You pull this one now in your right hand around the rod and through. You take your top one that's now in your left hand go underneath the next strand of the warp like that and then you take the right over the left and under the next one the right over the left and under the next strand of your warp over and under over and under pull it through over and under over and under and that's all you do and 
this starts and then you know I after I get the first one on there I just I push them up as close as I can get them to the top pegs you know you want it up there good and tight and then you just keep going over and under it's the same process all the way through and uh, you just go over and under all the way across over and under and pull it through and that's really all they are to it and you go down to uh, all the way across to the end of your next rod and then you know I won't bore you with going all the way across but I'll I'll come back and show you what you do when you get at the end and uh, go to turn it around you know you just make sure that you've got your wrap around your rod and uh, you just turn around and come back to your left the other way and uh, when you come back of course your left will be going over your right right now your right hand just goes over the left all the way and you just keep weaving until you get to the other side and then you just turn around and come back it's very simple and a, a easy process I enjoy doing it uh, once you get started you know it really goes pretty fast to me the hardest and the longest part of it is actually um, tearing the strips it does take a while to tear your strips they've got strings on them and uh, I've seen in several videos where a lot of people take and cut uh, theirs with um, the knife, uh, I forget now what it's called, that you cut material with a rotary blade, that's what it is, and you uh, can use a pinking blade and it stops some of the, the, the rattling and the, you know, the pieces of yarn and, and stuff like that, but I tried that and even though the stringing is not as bad I just I just don't seem can I can do it as fast as I do when I just you know I just tear them and rip them and tear them and then it's not no it's not really no big deal to me and if you've got strings uh, with the wear and uh, when you wash and stuff like that they just they come off anyway so that's what you basically do and you just go all the way until you get to the end it goes really fast and uh, that's that's all you do just over and under over and under and you go all the way down through there and I just stop and hold down on it and then push them up and that's how you you start out this is Sheila Honeycutt, and I'll come back and show you the end of it when I get ready to turn and go back the other direction. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thank you. Have a blessed day.